Good morning, welcome back. I hope you are doing well. I'm so excited for today's video because I have tons of things to get done today. It's pretty early in the morning and I figured I could just spend the day with you, taking you through my day. We'll crochet a little bit. We'll do some of my business behind the scenes things and mainly just have fun. So I'm so looking forward to it. I feel like this is the perfect video to grab your crochet project, cozy up with a warm drink and just hang out with me and have some fun. So let me know in the comments what you are working on if you are crocheting today because I always love to hear. It's like one of my favorite things. So I think with that, we're ready to get into it. So let's get started. So it's about 9.30 and I'm starting off the day by making an Instagram reel. I just finished it. I personally think it's kind of funny, but we will see how it does. I'm pretty sure I can put it up on the screen here. I don't know if anyone will find it funny, but I'm trying to be consistent on Instagram. So at least we have checked that box for the day. <laughs> I figured I would turn the camera around since Remy is sitting back here and I just love it so much. So he can hang out with us while we get today's agenda ready. So I figured we could just write out everything that I want to accomplish today. And that way I can kind of stay organized. Otherwise my brain is just everywhere. First off, I I've shared this before, but you can kind of see up here, this little octopus pattern is actually a pattern that I am designing in collaboration with Hobie which is so exciting. I need to do all the finishing touches on it and get the pattern like officially written up. So I need to finish crocheting the second version of it because I made a few little tweaks to it. So today we will finish crocheting that octopus. If you're wondering what this is on the back of my notebook, this is how I design crochet patterns. I'll just start drawing a bunch of shapes and kind of, it's confusing, but that's what that is. I also want to wrap some Christmas gifts today because if I don't, they kind of start piling up and then it's a little bit overwhelming and I actually really like wrapping gifts. So I figured we can do that together. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I forgot, but I also have to pack some orders today. So that is something else that we need to do. I think it's just one order, but I figured I'd take you through that and show you my new printer that I have, which is so amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. So I'll show you that in a little bit. I'm probably drawing a blank, but that's everything I can think of right now. So we're gonna roll with it because my brain is always all over the place. I'm sure you have learned that about me this far in our little journey we're on together. So let's start with the octopus because honestly, I'm just, I'm really excited about that. Can we also just take a moment to appreciate how sweet this little guy is? He's just so good. I cannot believe how perfect he is. Like to think that we just found him outside like a month ago, it's hard to believe. He definitely likes to bite your fingers though. But just look at how cute and cozy he is. He sits here while I work and it's just, it's so perfect. Huh, Remy boy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how far I got with the octopus last night and I think we should be able to finish this fairly quickly. He still needs his ears because he's an umbrella octopus. You'll just have to see when I'm done and trust the process. But I think that I'm going to watch the Reputation Stadium Tour on Netflix. If you've never seen it, I need you to watch it for me and report back because honestly, it's so good. I love turning it on when I just need to clean the house or something. Sorry, the cat is like all over my laptop right now. I'm just gonna hold him because he gets into mischief on my desk. Like he loves all the little jingly things and stuff like that. Um, but seriously, the Reputation Stadium Tour is so fun to watch. Like it's my favorite thing to turn on when I'm just cleaning the house or whatever. And I'm pretty sure it's leaving Netflix I want to say at the end of the year, like on January 1st, it leaves. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. And yeah, let's just, let's finish up this octopus. Look at how cute he is. I'm sorry, you guys are probably gonna be so tired of him because I am just obsessed with this cat. Huh. Here's where we're at so far. I feel like this is taking me forever. It's currently like 11, but I'm just trying to make sure that everything is good and finalized before I start writing out the full pattern. I'm sitting like funny in my chair because Remy is just like right back here. I think you can kind of see him. He's just like hanging out back there, so whatever. Honestly, anything is better than him playing with my yarn. The shelter told us they think he's about nine or 10 months old. So he's just like super playful. He loves playing with my yarn and stitch markers and just all the little notions. So it has been a challenge. I'm happy that he's curious and playful. I feel like that's a good sign, but 
it can be a challenge when I'm really trying to crochet. So he's, he's doing good though. I'm gonna just keep crocheting and chit chat with you. But I think one of the weirdest parts about adopting Remy is just not knowing his backstory and kind of accepting that I never will know. I'm I'm really bad about that. I'm a person who just really likes having closure, I guess, but it's weird to think that we don't know where he came from or what the beginning of his life looked like and we never will know. And I guess all that we will ever know is that he was hungry, he was meowing a lot, and he was very tiny, so. But he definitely looks a lot better now, so I am very grateful for that. He's just seriously such a good cat. I know I probably talk about him way too much. Apparently the entire time I was saying that he was just chewing on this part of my desk chair, so that's great. I've also shared a little bit how Remy is the first cat I've ever had. I haven't really been around too many cats in my life, so I had a lot to learn when I got him and I feel like I'm still learning. And I feel like I'm surprised by the fact that cats do have a lot of similarities to dogs, but there's also a lot of things that are just so different. Like I'm definitely not used to dogs being able to just jump up on a table or whatever. So I think when I'm finished with this octopus, we can go ahead and start wrapping some presents because I need to get caught up on my Christmas wrapping because the gifts are piling in and my family's coming to town and I just wanna make sure it's all wrapped just in case they pop over to my house and stuff. I also learned last year that you can make gift bows out of wrapping paper. And when I realized like you actually can, I was so amazed because it looks so cool in my opinion. So I'll definitely show you that and I'll leave a tutorial on how to do it in the description just in case you're curious. But I find it to be a great way to reuse the scraps of your wrapping paper and save money on bows because like, honestly, I feel like no one talks about this, but like bows are so expensive and it's all stuff that we kind of just throw in the trash anyway. So like, in my opinion, as long as it looks good, like who really cares, you know? And even then most people don't really care. But first we need to finish this octopus and he is just taking me quite a long time. I think he looks kind of funny right now because the bottom isn't cinched yet, but eventually it will kind of go in. He just needs some ears and then he'll be all done and a smile, but we're almost there. I cannot believe how long this has taken me. It's currently, what time is it? It's 1.08 right now. I don't know why I was being so slow. I think it's because I have some perfectionist tendencies most likely, but he is all done. And now I just have to get that pattern written up. But what do you think? This is my finished pattern. I decided to do like a darker color under the tentacle area so that his tentacles are more like obvious, I guess, if that makes sense. But this is what he looks like. And he has these little ears and that's what's unique about the umbrella octopus is they have these really funny little ears. And you might be like, Annie, why did you want to make one of these? And that's a good question. I heard about this from Animal Crossing. When you go dive in the ocean in Animal Crossing, one of the things you can catch is an umbrella octopus. And so that is where I got the inspiration for this. It is definitely time for me to eat lunch, so we need to go do that. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to eat my leftover chickpea curry, okay? And then we are going to wrap some presents because that needs to be done. Then we're gonna pack some orders and probably just chill for the rest of the day. I think that's the plan. Um, Remy figured out how to get on the counter and my husband doesn't like it and I don't blame him. So we're trying to teach him to not go on the counter. Who knows if that will be successful or not? Probably not. It might be a little bit of an unrealistic expectation for a cat, but this is my lunch. It's really good. It might sound gross, but this is super good and it's just like vegetables and beans and rice and <sighs> yeah. It is time to wrap some presents. Oh God, he's on the counter again. One second. So I showed you this in my most recent video, but this is the little ram that I made for my sister's boyfriend. And he's got his little LA Rams jersey on. And I decided I'm gonna gift him this with these really cute mini Trader Joe's bags. And there's reusable bags inside of here, which is pretty handy. And I think I'm gonna package it up so that he's holding a little bag like this. I mean, come on, it's perfect. But since I made it, I don't have a box for it, but we're gonna reuse one. I have another gift inside of here. So I'm going to use this box for the ramp and then use the actual box for the other gift, if that makes sense. Okay, 
to me in any way tune out of the video now because this is basically what i got every person in my life for christmas this year i'm giving you a few seconds so i basically got everyone in my life these right here this is like the best gift honestly i'm pretty sure everybody would love this but this is the one i got for my mom actually it's a candle warmer the one that i got her is black but i'm gonna show you the one that i have because i am obsessed okay so this is what it looks like i think it's so cute i'm gonna turn it on really quick okay so it has a little dial and you can turn up and down the brightness of it but it's just a really nice way to extend the life of your candle and i just think it's so cute so that's a good idea in my opinion not the prettiest box but it is fine I'm surrendering to the whole no Remy on the counter thing because he's just a cat and he likes to be up here and what are you gonna do you know that's just part of having a cat I think I always put the tape right here while I'm waiting to use it don't judge everyone has their own way of wrapping and this is just mine okay This crisp fold is really what it's all about. Look at this. I might have spoken too soon. I think that I'm gonna need you to just lie to me and tell me that it looks good. There. You know, I think that this, this is the better strategy right here. I'm gonna show you in a second. Let me show you, okay? Side one, side two. I think this is a superior method, less tape, and it looks more neat. I'm trying to remember how I make these bows out of wrapping paper because I am too lazy to look it up on YouTube right now. I'm pretty sure I literally just do this. I tape it as I go, then I fold it like that. Kind of like that, like that looks like a little bow, right? And there you have it. What do you think? Do you like my little wrapping paper bow? I don't know. I mean, it's probably not the cutest, but it's the thought that counts, right? And I tried. Okay, here's our presents all wrapped. I feel like we're off to a pretty good start. I'm really happy with these, and I just love those little wrapping paper bows. I'll keep a tutorial linked in the description, but I'm sure you can see Remy under here. He's just obsessed with hanging out down there, so... I have two orders to box up with you today, which is so fun and exciting. Um, they both have come in today. I've been trying to be really good about getting packages out within one or two days, especially since it's like the holiday season and everything. But I recently put stitch markers in my Etsy shop and people have been loving them. I'll show you what they look like really quick. They look like this and then I just attach the little clasp onto them and send them out. I figured it'd be fun to just share a little boxing of my orders with you. And then I also want to show you how I make stickers with my Moonbin. I have the 130 Bluetooth printer and it is so handy for label making and making little stickers and all that stuff. Also, look at how cute these are. They're like little rainbow. These are the stickers and then you can print whatever you want on them. I've just been putting my logo in like a thank you. And then I've also been doing my discount code. When people order, they get a discount code. Got them all packed up with their shipping labels. They're ready to go into the boxes. And then we just need to make some labels and stickers. So I'm gonna start with the shipping labels, which I obviously can't show you when they're printed because it has my customer's information on it. But these are the ones that I use and you can just stick them right on. But they also have these pink ones and these are adorable if you ask me. I love this. So I definitely wanna try these soon. I just think it's super fun. All I have to do to print out these shipping labels is pay for them on Etsy and transfer it into the Moonbin app. And then from there, I can just send it right to the machine Bluetooth, which is so convenient because you don't have to mess with any wires or any of that. And it's just, it's chef's kiss. So I have the shipping labels on our packaging. So now comes the fun part. When I tell you this is fun, I really mean it. It's so quick and easy too. 
So these are the stickers I'm gonna use today because I love these colors. And I think I'm just gonna have them say, thank you for your order with my logo. Cause that's what I've been doing so far. Okay, so I just have to find the size that matches my label, which I'm pretty sure is this one. Yeah, there we go. That's the same one. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to my album, put my logo in here. Look how easy this is. Oh my gosh, and it's so cute. And then let's put this here. Thank you for your order. Oh my gosh, cute. Okay, now we have to fix that font because I don't like that font. We need a better one. Like this, I made this little logo in Canva like a year ago. If you are a graphic designer, let me know because I need to get a new logo. I want something really cutesy that kind of relates to my dog. It's always hard to decide because look, you can go in here and like, they have all of these, like see all of these. Oh my gosh, these are all so handy. Like just the little thank yous. And they even have these sale ones. These are perfect. So I think we're good. So I'm gonna preview and print. Let's take some of these. And then all we do, look at how easy this is. I just open it like that, perfect. And then we push it down. I think I'm gonna do it on one to one. Okay, so let's see. Look at how cute. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I'm just gonna stick these here. And then so I just stick these right in here. And look at how cute. And just like that, we're done. I love it. It's so easy. And I just think these stickers are so cute. And you can really make so many fun things with these. But this is just what I've been using them for. Our packages are all boxed up. That was super quick and easy. And just in case you are curious for your own Etsy, I will have all the products that I use linked below. Everything I can find, I will link it for you. So don't forget to check the description if there's anything that you're looking for in this video. I feel like my umbrella octopus took way longer than I anticipated it to and so now I kind of feel like I barely did anything today I don't know but for that reason I figure I'm just gonna chill and take it easy the rest of the night and then I will check back with you tomorrow when I'm feeling much more refreshed and rejuvenated <laughs> I just got back from taking my dogs to the park as you have seen, but I've done quite a few things in the past 24 hours that I kind of just want to catch you up on. So I've done a lot of crocheting. Um, I forgot to show you, I've been making these tiny little T-Rex dinos and I've put them in my shop as well. They're just so fun to make. So I've just been making them in all these colors. I'm gonna show you really quick. Okay, so right now I have them in four different colors on my shop. This is the first one. This is like the light blue turquoise one. I love these colors. I think he's so cute. I'm gonna show you the rest of them. So next I have this really pretty coral one with hot pink and again amazing and then this is like the first one that I made. This one's the I don't know this is just like the blue one. He's classic. He's adorable and then I also have this one. This one's my husband's favorite just the pink with the hot pink little spikes. I'm obsessed. I wanna make some different types of dinos, like a triceratops or something, and put that in my shop as well. I just have so much fun making these, so like I might as well, you know? I wanna just make all the color combinations. So I've been working on that, and then I already showed you my umbrella octopus, uh, but this is all finished, and then I'm currently working on writing the final pattern. I was going back and forth on this part of it with my husband, we were like, should I drop it down a little bit more? Should I leave it? Ultimately, I decided to leave it like this because I think it actually makes it a little bit more unique and it kind of makes the tentacles stand out more, like the contrast of it. So that's what we're gonna go with. And I'm really excited for you to be able to find this on Hobie's website. I think it's going to be sometime in the beginning of 2024. Sorry if you hear the trash truck outside. I feel like they're always here whenever I'm recording. I'm a little bit late on this trend. I feel like everybody has been making these, but these are so adorable. They're little mushy pops and they pop up like this. And I've made a couple of these. I made this one and then I made this one. 
and I also made a red one but I gave it to Remy my cat and he is obsessed with these so I've just been making him some without eyes and he's just carries them around all the time it's the funniest thing ever so these are really cute toys to give to cats you can even put catnip in here and obviously just take the eyes off maybe don't sew these on top so it doesn't get as messed up and stuff but I really love this and this is actually a tutorial on YouTube so I will link it in the description if you want to make some as well but I would assume that these would sell really well at markets too and yeah they're just adorable and I want to have like 20 of them and they also match my outfit which we love okay next this might be the most shocking news of all okay I've I haven't told anyone this yet but I have started knitting I know I know I'm sorry if that was a little too shocking for you I know it's some pretty crazy news um, so the first time I tried to learn how to knit, it was just a complete disaster. It did not go very well. But this time, a few of my crochet friends actually told me to try continental knitting, which has really made all the difference. I feel like I'm picking it up so much faster. And granted, it still does not look good, but I feel like I understand like how to do it. So that's good. This is what it looks like right now. And honestly, it kind of looks like a mess, but this is just more for my future self to document my process. I don't even really know what this is. I think these are pearls. I was trying to do like the stockinette stitch, but it doesn't really look like that. So it's, it's a work in progress, you know? <laughs> But yeah, it's actually really fun. Like I feel like I'm able to get into kind of a rhythm. I wanna restart and just kinda see how good I can get it to look, but I definitely am having a hard time with purling. Like I almost feel like there should be a hook on the end of this because I have such a hard time grabbing the yarn. It's definitely a little bit weird, but overall I am pleasantly surprised to say that I am kind of doing it. I think this is knitting. I don't know, what do you think? Like. I just want it to look like that really pretty like classic knit stitch which I think is just stockinette stitch but I don't know. Go figure the trash is getting taken out right now. So I guess that's kind of that. I'll keep you updated on my knitting journey. Hopefully this starts looking better soon because you know what? You gotta start somewhere. I'm not gonna bash myself. This, this is called progress and we've all been here. So next order of business, if you're my sister Olivia, tune out now because this is part of your Christmas gift. So I'm actually making my sister a cardigan like this one I'm wearing now, one of these hexagon cardigans, but I'm doing it in more of her color scheme, which is like neutral and cute and that sort of thing. So this is the first half of the cardigan, right? So it'll be like this. And then I just have to make the second half and do the decreases around the sleeves. But I realized that the way that I make my hexagon cardigans is actually different than I've seen anyone else do it. Like for example, you can kind of see here, but but I will take a double crochet and I will start decreasing to kind of make a more cinched sleeve. So I'm gonna do that for hers and I was thinking of maybe filming a tutorial of how I make these cardigans. If that's something you're interested in, definitely let me know in the comments because I think it'd be fun. But at the same time, there are a lot of hexagon cardigan tutorials on YouTube. So I don't know if that's something you would like to see. If it is, let me know, maybe I'll do it. But this is what I'm going to be working on over the next couple of days. It's currently December 14th, so I have to get cracking on this for Christmas. I really like the colors though. I really like how it's turning out. And then I just plan on carrying this pattern all the way down the sleeve. I think I'm going to do the ribbing in this dark brown color, kind of like what's going on with this one that I have already made. And I think she's really going to like it. I feel like it's right up her alley. So there's that. And then what else do I have to show you? Oh, as far as gifts I'm crocheting this year, I have another one to show you. So this is for my mother-in-law actually. And this is my Wisteria cardigan pattern. You can find it on my Etsy shop. There we go. You can see it a little bit better now, but this is a really nice cream one. And it's sort of like this emerald rainforest green stripe. And I think she's really going to love this. I know for a fact, she's going to really appreciate it. So I think this is an amazing gift and her birthday is kind of near Christmas time. So we actually got her this and we also got her a KitchenAid mixer, which is really exciting. I know she's going to like freak out and just be ecstatic. So I have that little ram that I crocheted wrapped. I need to wrap this and then I need to finish my sister's cardigan so I can wrap that and I need to get boxes too. So overall, I feel like I'm doing a good job of pacing myself with my crochet gifts, but things are just a little crazy this year and I do not have a ton of time. So I'm doing my best. I'm trying not to stress myself out by crocheting everyone a gift. So another thing I opted for this year, which I showed you earlier in this vlog, was some of those candle warmers. I think those are just 
those are gonna be hits. Like, who doesn't want a candle warmer? That one that I bought for myself, I honestly just turn it on every night and it's so cozy and adorable and I know that they're gonna love theirs too. So check those boxes. We got them all checked. So I think that's mainly everything for the updates that I had to share with you. I also just wanted to say thank you because I've been getting a lot of orders for my stitch markers on my Etsy and I just really wanted to take a moment to say thank you. I don't take any of this for granted and I truly just feel so grateful that I get to even be talking to you and doing the thing that I really just love the most. So thank you so much. And if you made it this far into the video, thank you for being here and for watching. It means a whole lot to me. If you're not already, definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content from me. And until next time, guys, happy crocheting. Bye!